Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm Julia. And this week, we're bringing back 20 Minute Taste, Cooking with the Twins. So today, we have a very special guest joining us. It's Thanksgiving, and we have none other than Ricky Nolan. And, he, and he's our dad, if you don't know. So Ricky, what are we going to be making today? Today we're going to be making a pimento cheese spread. That's an old family favorite of the Nolans. Um, I've been making it for years. My mother would have me grind the cheese for her because it was the manual and I'd watch her and help her add ingredients. And it's a great condiment. Um, it's good with anything. I especially like it on celery stalks with a little hot pepper. Ew! Yeah, anyway, you can eat it any way you want it and it is fine. So we're going to get going on it and hopefully you can make your own and enjoy it too. Uh, so uh, we don't like to eat it on celery socks. We prefer eating it on bread. bagels, bread, crackers, and the best part, it can be made in under 20 minutes. Let's get cooking! Yay, let's get at it now. to grate our cheddar cheese. Right, Ricky? Yes, and you want to grate your cheese, you don't want to get the pre-grated because it tends to be dry. If you grate your own cheese fresh, it's much moister and much better. And how many packages of cheddar cheese do we uh, use, two? two uh, one package of sharp cheddar and one package of extra sharp cheddar. And you're also going to need some cream cheese, and you can use uh, about three or four ounces of that. You need to put that out first to get it warm so you can blend it in when it's time for the uh, actual blending of the different cheeses and ingredients. Oops. Hey! Get it all in there. It's too good to wait. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to get the ingredients that we add to the cheese. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take the cream cheese that's been out for about half an hour softening. So it's room temperature? Uh, hopefully. It should be. And we're going to add that. And we're going to add a teaspoon of ground mustard. Ooh. And a half. Now, if you don't have it at home, or you can you just use regular mustard? You can use regular mustard. It's yeah. not as good, but uh, it'll get you through a rough spot there. It'll get the job done. It will. And then we're going to have to add, some people like to add a little sugar, but we don't want to add that because it doesn't really need it. And we're watching his weight. And we're going to add a little hot sauce. We need to slice that lemon. All right, I'll slice the lemon. Oh, so we're gonna put some lemon juice in here? Yes, squeeze it. Yum, wait, I hate seeds, so let's take out the seeds. Oh, the yeah. seed just went to the cheese! Oh my God, get it out! <laughs> get it out! <laughs> okay, I'm okay. sorry, I, I really hate lemon seeds. All right, so half a lemon or? Yeah, that's about right. It'd be about a teaspoon and a half. That looks good. About a half a teaspoon of salt. You can eyeball it, and then we're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I hope you washed your hands. <laughs> Yesterday. Ew, liar. <laughs> just, just kidding. Jeez, tough crowd here. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to have this is very important. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Or Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Two teaspoons. And a little extra there. Now we need to. Mix, mix it, it okay. I'm a really good mixer, I got this. Alright. Oh, Ricky forgot the mayonnaise. So how much mayonnaise are we adding? About a third of a cup. Okay. I think that's... Okay, that looks rough, right? And a little bit more. Yum, yum, eat them up. <laughs> that's an inside joke. You know, don't fall in love with it now. Give it a good beating. Golly! Beat them bumps out of it, lumps, whatever you want to call them. We're gonna put that to the side. And okay. We're gonna, now we're gonna add side our pimentos. This is fresh pimento, by the way, because we had a catastrophe. And Ricky forgot to buy pimento from the supermarket. You can get it in like the little glass bottles. So we decided to roast our own pepper and make it homemade, baby. So it's gonna be better, I feel like, because who wants that cans up when you got the real thing? <laughs> right, Ricky? I've never so made with the it homemade uh, pepper. With the before. real one, so this should be tasty. And this interesting. should be a real treat. 
All right, so we're gonna mix the pimento in the grated cheddar cheese. All right, mmm, I smell it already. It's so good. Now we're gonna let me slice up the onion. One scallion. I'm gonna put a lot of the green in there. Oh, and I love scallions, so this is gonna be finger looking good. Oh, I just got cheese on my mouth. Let me add the onion. Okay. And now we're gonna add the sauce. Yum. All right, now just stir it, blend it. Don't be too rough with it. Just gently fold it in there. Mm -hmm. There you go, like that. Yeah, don't be afraid of it. Mix it all up good. So the beauty of this recipe is you can eyeball it, you can add more mayo if you wanted more moist, some more hot sauce if you wanted more spicy. Wow, that's Yeah, that really came good. out real good. Yeah, I was a little shy on the mayo. You can always add more. You don't want it too mayo either. Right. Anything overpowered. So you got a very good consistency. Right? Yeah, look at that. Get those pimentos off the rim there. Those are going to be excellent. We're going to try some right away. But it's always good to let it sit. Mm -hmm. So all the marinate. juice is marinated. And then it's really, really good. You need to let it marinate for two or three hours overnight. It'll keep for about four or five days in the refrigerator or longer. You'll the next see. day it's the best. It's, very it's all good. marinated. Mmm. So anyway. So is that it? That's it. And now for our favorite part, the taste test! All right, let's dig in. Who wants right. to be first? I kind of want to do it on celery too because I'm so interested. No, I want a cracker, boy bye. This is delicious. Mm. Mm, you were right, it's good on a cracker, Dad. A celery, you mean? No, I celery. mean celery. <laughs> That's the way to go, I'm telling you. That is some kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> and it was made in under 20 minutes. Probably like 10 minutes. That was mm -hmm, easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. And these fatties over here can't even talk. My mouth is full. And I think the homemade pimentos really went to the... You uh, I mean the pepper? Yeah. Nose, yeah, pepper, same thing. I think that really took it over the edge. So, bon appetit. Yeah. It's time to eat. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning into our family episode of 20 Minute Days Cooking with the Twins. And we'll see you guys right back here next Twin Tuesday. Bye! Bye. I have celery in my teeth, don't I? I believe so. Well, number yeah. nine. Do I? <gasps> no, not yet. Wait, hold on, why is there a wine bottle in the middle? Oh, no! Why do you have a list? What's right? wrong? What is in your mouth? Oh, his, his dentures. Teeth. I got my teeth. The director's couch. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be enough mayonnaise. <laughs> <gasps> it's actually Thanksgiving today, guys. So, we're going to have this for our Thanksgiving appetizer. Hey, stay out of there! We need some more damn paper towels around here. Oh my god. Dad! <laughs> oh my god, she doesn't stop. I know, go away. I've been dying to try one. Oh, the producer. All right, let's see, what do you think? It's the mayonnaise. One thumb up, I do two, but my other one's busy. <laughs> Rigget, the video's over, and you keep going back for more. I'm hungry, I can't help it. <laughs>